we have this question here where we have to use the Newton's laws of gravitation to solve this question. Okay. I'll read the question first. This question here is based on Newton's laws of gravitation. And first I'll read out the question with you. There are two identical fluids, moon A and moon B, right? And there is this planet. The two moons are identical with each having mass M0 and the mass of the planet is Mb. And the alignment of the moon and the planet is like this. They are along a straight line. So then we have to answer the following question. The first question is saying that these two dots, if we consider them to be the planet, we have to draw and label the forces exerted on moon A and moon B. And we have to represent that using an arrow, right? So the whole thing is based on the basic Newton's laws of gravitation. That is, if there are two bodies, this is body one, this is another mass. There are two masses. This one is having mass M1, this one is having mass M2. And if they are separated by a distance r, okay, the so separation between them is r. They will attract each other. That is the Newton's law of gravitation. M1 will be pulled this way due to the gravitational pull of M2 and vice versa. Equal and opposite reaction. So they are pulling each other with the same force. And how much is that? G. The force of attraction between them is G. That is the universal gravitation constant. It has a fixed value times M1 times mp upon r square. So this is the basic thing that we have to know in order to answer this question. The force is that of pulling. It is attractive in nature. One body having some mass pulls another body with some mass. So let's try to answer the part A here for this question. If the rooms are like this, here is the planet. Now what will happen? On the moon A, moon A will be pulled by the moon B and the planet, both of them, right? So on the moon A, I can draw two forces. One is the force due to the moon B. And there is one more force that is due to the pull of the planet. So there is another force in the same direction, the force due to the planet. I represent that force by Fp. So these are the two forces on the moon A, and they are along the same direction this way. Moon B, if we talk about, again there are two forces. One is the pull of the planet. And the other one is the pull of the moon A, right? So on this one, the pull of the planet B is here, let's say F prime P. This is the pull of this planet onto the moon B, right? And the other force on B is the pull due to the moon A. So I can say this is this way, force due to the moon A. Let's say F prime. I name the force. So these are the two forces. F A prime is the pulling force due to the moon A. On moon B, I'm talking about. And moon B is also being pulled by this attractive force F P prime towards this planet. In the following parts, we'll be seeing how much exactly the forces are. But part A is just asking you to make an arrow and represent the force in acting on the two moons.